Hello Survivors! Welcome back to another video. How are you today guys? Let me know in the comments. Today we are going to start a new series and this is the tips for beginners for a state of survival players, new players especially, okay? So if you don't know and you're watching this video, I've been playing this game for almost three years now. Uh, I'm a free to play player. I can give you some good tips. I'm not telling you that I'm gonna give you the best tips But as you can see, I'm strong. If you see my stats, you go to my other videos So I have decent stats. I have accumulated a decent amount of battle power, this amount of troops, this amount of gear I have done this free to play player. I have documented all my journey here in the state of survival in my YouTube channel Okay, so if you don't believe me, yo, you might be an spender go back and I will post almost daily and you can see every move that I've made in the game. I show my reports, I show everything. So yeah, in case that you have doubts, so you can check it out. Now I'm gonna give you a, a tip that it might think like, oh, I didn't come here for it because you might be just looking for a tip on how to upgrade the gear, on how to maybe train your troops, or what should you train first, should you upgrade, should you uh, prioritize HQ, or should you prioritize, let's say here in the research, should I prioritize development, battle, how do I do my talents? We are gonna talk about those things first, but the first thing that you have to, uh, to pay attention or just to keep in mind, if just your troops, you know, regardless of whether you are like uh, training troops or you are upgrading troops, guys, what makes people quit this game in the early stages of the game is just people attacking you and killing your troops. And if you don't know how to protect your troops, believe me, guys, it doesn't matter if you spend on the game because there is always going to be a higher spender. It doesn't matter if you are enjoying the game or not. It sucks when you have been playing this game for a while, especially the first day when you have to be training troops all the time and upgrading building all the time and you have been investing a recent amount of time and then you locked in and your settlement is burning and the few troops that you have there are all dead because let's be honest this hospital capacity is not like holding a lot of troops and you can just pass the hospital capacity after a few weeks player in terms of troops and uh, it sucks because you might say, oh, well, but they go to enlistment. Yeah, but if they go to enlistment, you still lose troops. You lose like 25, 30% of the troops. If I don't, yeah, you can replenish lost power up to 70%. Yeah, you know, so you, you lose 30% of the troops you, you've trained and it sucks. It sucks. And the other thing is that you also lose that like dopamine rush because let's say you are upgrading everything you are collecting your resources you want to upgrade quick and then they attack you for resources and guess what you don't have resources you don't have troops you don't have resources to heal your troops it sucks guys i've gone through that in this game in other games it's completely sucks so you have to learn how to secure your troops guys remember the only reason why you use your troops in the beginning, aside from like fighting, fighting for territory and stuff, is to do the intel. So if you are logging in and you are doing the intel, you might as well just before logging out, secure your troops. How do you do that? There are a lot of options, you know? In the beginning, you can hide your troops. Where is the hide? Here, if you go to the blast shelter, you can come here and you can hide them for eight hours. And it's gonna give you just the ability to hide one march what's full march you can increase here with the talent the march capacity and and save more troops troops in the beginning guys if you don't have like for example a lot of troops but they exceed the hospital capacity let's like say you have thousand hundred thousand troops and the hospital capacity is fifty thousand then before logging out you might as well just hide your troops here hide your troops so that if they attack you, you don't lose your troops because that's gonna hurt you a lot. Yeah, the resources are gonna hurt you a lot as well. But believe me, troops just is something about troops that when you wake up with a defense fail message and they kill a lot of your troops, you're like, oh no, I don't even wanna play anymore. So make sure to hide your troops. If you don't hide your troops, you say, ah, I don't wanna be hiding my troops, guys. You have different options here. You can occupy far away. For example, when I was just starting to play this game, what I will do is the following. Send my troops to the towers around because 
people couldn't attack towers, especially once which one's this one. Now, if you send them, for example, here uh, to one of these towers connected to another one, of course they can attack them and you are they are gonna injure your troops. But what I was doing, just sending the troops to the towers. Okay, if I had like let's say three full marches, I need exceeding my my hospital capacity. I will send one march here, one march to another tower and leave them there. When I was coming to do my intel, I was recalling my troops, just sending the marches out and then sending them again. And then just enough till you build up like a, a enough amount of troops so they can they can just not solo in you, you know, you, they, they have to rally and you get the notification and it's gonna buy you time to bubble. But you have to do this in the beginning, otherwise you are gonna quit the game. This is what makes people quit the game like 90% of the time. So you can send troops to, to the towers, you can send troops to the shelter. And if you don't wanna do that, just reinforce the strongest player in your alliance. Nobody's attacking those strongest players, especially if they are spending a lot. That's the other thing that I would use to do is just to reinforce the players around me and then I was just coming. If my settlement was burning, then it was good because they didn't kill any troops. Or if they say that you have just like a few members in a lion, nobody's strong, you don't have enough towers. I would send my troops here to occupy them far away from my territory. And then when I went to the intel, I was just recalling them here, urgent recall. And they came back to my settlement in three seconds. Boom, I could do my intel and then I did it again. And then when I was doing the intel again, I could, I will, uh, I will call them back and then do my intel. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying, but that's what you have to do. The only thing that the the, the, the last thing you want to do here in the beginning of the game is just have a lot of troops in your settlement, no bubble, and have a lot of resources. That's the biggest mistake, which leads me to the other tip, guys. You have to protect your troops and you have to protect your resources because you need a lot of resources. And let's be honest. You might get into a new state and says and say like, ah, oh, yeah, it sucks. People attacking you for resource and those effing spenders. They don't care. They're going to kill the state. But you do it as well. I do it as well. When I was beginning the game, I was complaining because I didn't like people attacking me. But I would go low key to other people, to other alliances, port there and take them resources because I also want to experience the dopamine rush of upgrading, upgrading, upgrading. And I was just limited by resources. So I would go attack other people and then complain because people were attacking me. So that's the nature of the game. So what you have to do and what I used to do is just make sure that my resources here, the ones here, they didn't exceed my storage capacity. Where, where, where is the building here? Did I have no this one? OK, my warehouse. If you come here to info, more details, it gives you the amount of resources that you can protect. With, and people cannot steal it. For example, storage protection level 5, 33 million, blah, blah, blah. So, so you have to make sure to be under these resources, okay? Because you also have this 120 million, 120 million wood, metal. So try to not go over this, guys. If you have this like plus green numbers, like now, as you can see, I have now a lot of resources because I'm in a quite strong alliance. I'm quite strong. Nobody's attacking here in the state. We are like super old. But in a near state, they don't care. So if you have these plus numbers here, you're accumulating resources like crazy, they are gonna attack you. So what happened if you, let's say, were doing the intel when you were just like a going, I don't know, attacking other play people, you were attacking other people, and you still don't have resources to operate your HQ, but you have a lot of resources, set up no bonuses, peace flare, you have the free peace flare here, which are recharge freely. It takes a while, but it, it of course uh, gives you for free. And then bubble, guys, bubble, bubble, bubble till you use those resources. So what you have to do is to bubble, use the resources, and then if you don't have resources, you protect your troops. And then when you have a lot of resources again, bubble, you upgrade, you bubble, you upgrade, you bubble, and you have the ability to buy even bubbles here in the Alliance store. So they are here. You have this one if you are donating to the Alliance every day, for example, in the tech here, then you can just buy bubbles there. And one more time, if you play like this after a couple of months playing, you are going to realize that it is going to be easier, especially if you go to a strong Alliance where people uh, protect you. 
then you will find the game phone. But if you are the player who has come in here, just, oh, I did my intel, I'm gonna log off. I don't care about the resources. You're gonna log in every time with an attack, defense fail, you're gonna cry in the stage shot. I hate you all, everything is spenders, I'm quitting the game. Nobody cares, nobody cares that you're quitting. Remember, nobody knows you, you are not special. So you will leave, people will keep playing. So you don't want that to happen, you want to enjoy the game, protect your troops, protect your resources. That's the biggest tip before I give you anything, because I could give you everything about upgrading troops, research, but if you're quitting after two weeks because they do keep attacking you and you keep losing troops and resources, guess what? It is It doesn't make any sense that I'm giving you all those advices, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this first tip. Let me know what you want me to talk about in the next video. See you next time.